Hi and welcome to the second series of On Top of Power BI. This week I watched this really awesome video made by Pragmatic Works on the use of the Narrative Power BI custom visual. Now this custom visual isn't available on the Power BI custom visuals page because it wasn't developed by any of the Microsoft team or any of the partners. Instead it was developed by Narrative Science that can be found on their website. And it gives you the ability to automatically deliver analysis of your data. Now, in some of my recent posts, I have looked at text analytics. And as an accountant, because I'm always working with numerical data, I really, really enjoyed working with this text analytics because it just made a change for me. But this custom visual is completely different from any of the text analytics we looked at before because this doesn't look at text. This actually looks at numerical data and from numeric, well, mixture of numerical and text data. But from the numerical data, it'll then build a text narrative to actually describe and pull out the key points of your data. And you can watch the video. I have a link below this video here for you to hop over to Pragmatic Works and have a look at that video. It's really, really worth looking at. The next thing I want to talk to you about is the preview feature. And in particular, I want to talk to you about the table preview visualization. Now, the standard table visualization that's available in Power BI at the moment doesn't allow you cross filter on your reports or your visualizations, but the new preview table visualization does, and this is absolutely awesome. Now, this was only released this month in May in this month's Power BI update. But what's been going on for a couple of months is the matrix preview. And I've been using the matrix preview now, which also gives the ability to cross filter. So I would suggest if you haven't already looked at this feature that you go ahead and turn them on in your preview section of your Power BI. Now, finally, what I want to talk to you about today is the analytics challenge by Microsoft and by Power BI. So because Microsoft Data Insights Summit is coming up, they've decided to host this analytics challenge. And it is the analytics challenge is running at the moment. It started on the 8th of May and it's finishing on the 4th of June. And this was made by an announcement on their website. So you can hop over to their website and you can read the post about it. But if you're looking for some data sets or even if you're looking for a challenge to enter the challenge, but if you're not looking for to enter the challenge, there's some awesome data sets here that you can play with. Now, the challenges, there's three challenges. There's a complex data preparation. There's advanced analytics. And then there's even some data on the Simpsons for a just for fun um, challenge. So hop on over there and have a look. So that's it from On Top of Power BI this week. My name is Paula Guilfoyle. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to give this video the thumbs up, like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, drop them below the video and I will get back to you. Till next week, goodbye now.